gonna make the first ever legal casino in Grotopia. There's just one problem. I'm broke. So before we do anything, uh, let's collect some funds from the vending machines. 3.2 BGL. Goddamn. It was, by the way, only two days ago when I did one of my biggest trades ever and bought 30 mutated seeds. Oh. And apparently half of all the stock I made with that is already sold out. 14.5 BGL in the skull launcher vending machine. Uh, okay, that brings the total in my inventory almost to 18. Eh? I sold 16 diamond locks worth of rooster heads. <laughs> what the f***? 1600 people bought a rooster head. Uh oh, what's that? Valentine's item 2.7 BGL, bringing the total to 23.6. Uh, super summer surprises are gonna be big as well. Look at this 4.9 BGL. Oh my god, beautiful. Hey man, this world is the biggest money printer ever. Last vending machine, boom, ending up with a small fortune of 33 BGLs. Hey, oh, if I had to make an estimation, I would say the world has made about 15 BGL clean profit. I mean, I am invested about 50 BGLs, and I'm pretty sure all the stock plus the BGLs I have in my inventory, altogether I'm pretty sure it's gonna be close to 65 BGLs, dude. Absolutely crazy, this world is the biggest money printer ever. Anyway, it's time to build the first ever legal casino. And something as stupid as that, I cannot do alone. What's up, Neo? Hello? Today we are going to make first ever legal casino. So you know how my world sells every gamble item in Grotopia? Uh-huh, uh -huh. Some of those items are like mystery boxes that you gotta open yourself. You gotta punch the, the box to get the item, like golden booty chests. Yeah. So if we take a design of a BFG, where someone can claim a little room, the door closes behind him, and he has his own little break area, that would make the world the first ever legal casino. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick, right? Let's take a look. So we need some small locks, we need a bunch of checkpoints, and we need steam shit. We need like steam doors, and whatever this is. I think it's called a steam revolver? I'm not sure. I mean, it might be yeah. overpriced here, but... Yeah, they're kind of expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna buy 50 of them. Let's go. Now we need doors. Steam door, baby. Let me also cop 50 of those. All right, now we need to find checkpoints. I think I want to build it with crystal blocks. So we got to buy a whole bunch of those as well. Ooh, okay. Which is the most sexy checkpoint? I think the second one is kind of cool. That would go well with crystal blocks as well. 30 world locks each, and he has 94 of them. They are a little bit expensive, but I'm just gonna buy them. I mean, it's only 28 diamond locks. 35? Oh, and he has 600 of them, but it's it's hella expensive. Kid, we need him. It's hard to find these in bulk, dude. Trust me. Yeah. I think we have everything we need for the first uh, the first few rooms. Uh, should we put a couple of roulette wheels in there as well? Or does it look no, too much like a that. casino then? Yeah, no, no, no. I definitely would not suggest doing that because it looks a lot like a casino. Yeah, okay. That. Understandable, understandable, understandable. Okay, I found a couple of fire escapes. The same fire escapes we have over here. What if we do that right here as well? And then we start the boxes from here. So one, two, three. And then over here, you would have the steam thingy and over there, the checkpoint and the door, the door up here. Ooh, big brain, world architect. I completely forgot those items existed. Don't worry, dude. That's why you got me. I'm the builder. I was so excited when this item was released, by the way. Everyone hated it. Like, no one liked it, but I was, I love this item. Yeah, I, I, I kind of f*** with it as well, dude. I think we got to first place down the locks because you can't change the locked area if other blocks are facing it. Yeah. So the box would be like this. Then the wall goes there. There. Ooh, we could also paint the steam items because they yeah. like the color combination isn't great. But if we paint the f it looks pretty good. Bada bing, bada bung, and it should work. Oh, yeah, and then this needs to be open to public. Boom. Let's test it out, baby. Uh, the only issue with BFG boxes, by the way. Yeah, they close. Yeah, them. people can close them. And then if they leave the world from this angle, then they stay closed. So you need, yeah, like a moderator or something needs to pop in every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, but I mean, I'm pretty active. The other admin is pretty active. You're pretty active sometimes when I'm active. Yeah, <laughs> I'm online when you're online. Yeah. That doesn't really add to it. But yeah, sure. Do we want backgrounds as well? I mean, we can't have backgrounds over here. But in this area, we can have wallpapers too. Is this like... Like your collection of trees oh yeah i gotta break those f***ers. yeah no it's taking up too much space man at first i just thought oh, i'm gonna plant some trees down here to butter up people to buy sabers but we can break them in this video let's break them in a minute gotta buy one more oh wait no but the last one doesn't fit i think does it uh, yeah, no, that's oh, what no, I it said. Does, like, it does, it does, it does. You're right. Yeah. Like said, you, you need to use the, the wall as a... Uh... Yeah, no, as long as I can still fit a door over there, it's all good. Why is it so complicated to make a BFG? We do the steam revolver there. So simple. It's like... <laughs> no, 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 it's complicated, man. I ain't no, I ain't no rocket scientist. Boom. Easy. I did it. 
I'm a steam master. I feel like we don't have enough crystal blocks. Where do you want the other checkpoint needs to go right on top of the door, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So whenever you leave the, the box, you always hit a new checkpoint. So it's checkpoint steam revolver. Checkpoint steam revolver. Okay, now we kind of got to break all those trash items because it looks ugly. I kind of want to move the clothing compactor down there as well, dude, because they need to be able to go down, right? And right now it's completely blocked off. Also, speaking of the clothing compactor, bro, look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. So if you have a full inventory, instead of getting the seed in your inventory, it drops on top of the clothing compactor. Bro, look at how many mobs it's already already gambled sabers with a full inventory it has five crystal blocks eight crystal block seeds and even a muff where is it even a muff pro saber seed <laughs> it's crazy it still doesn't have a mutated seed though I, I feel like no one would make that mistake but like a, a saber mistake with a saber that's you know you can you can live through that but if you do that with, with something like that yeah i know muff are gonna cry for sure that's like 80 diamond logs right pretty much yeah uh-uh -uh, no like i don't think anyone's gonna make that mistake so you someone no, man, no, I've, I've compacted so many times without even checking my inventory, without thinking about it, dude. Yeah, but you're you, right? Like, there's only one. <laughs> Before opening the world, let me buy Dreamcatcher, and then I get rid of all these saber trees, because they're kind of taking up space, and it looks ugly, okay? A 2% chance of getting extra blocks from harvesting trees. So it doesn't matter on the rarity, it does all rarities, but I'm pretty sure yeah. it only does blocks. No, but I think clothing items count as blocks in this case right i'm pretty sure it doesn't work but we're definitely going to try 76 times 2.5 we need 190 sabers to get an average amount anything above 190 big w besides that i i think flame sabers are a little bit expensive but they have gone down so so much in the good old days flame sabers used to be like hella expensive hey that is a flame oh, saber look at this shit. easy that's crazy hey another one wait really where yeah in the middle oh yeah god damn Right there, dude. dude. that's insane. I didn't even see it. Yeah, too bad that they're only like 10 world locks more expensive than regular sabers right now. Oh my god. They're, they're nothing anymore. You should save them in case they're ever like used for a quest or whatever. There's marvelous missions and stuff. It's definitely one of those. That's how the sand castle got so expensive as well. You need yeah, exactly. a marvelous mission quest. Oh, that's the robot thing you got, right? The, the, the flying drone thing you have, which you have to bring free digger space for. No, oh, that was a legendary. That's a legendary item. It's a legendary item. Yeah. I didn't even know. Hey, what the are you, you throwing shade on no, my legendary it's, item? Because it's <laughs> right. That's why I thought it was. Fun. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? It's a great I mean, legendary item. I have no regrets. Last couple of trees. Here we go. The first double saber, maybe. I don't know. Haven't seen them before. Okay. Remember what the number was? 190, baby. We need 190 of these, f***s and we're winning. Winning at life. 195. 195, baby. We're five above average big W. We had to make some last minute changes because other people were able to last hit the booty chests, which is a big no-no because you need love essence. So now we have double doors. Ain't nobody that can reach you when you're farming your booty chests over here. And it works perfectly. Look at me farming booty chests with the boys here. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this video. One of the finer videos.